DP, yep. I gotta stop saying that like that. <laughs> Alright, <clears throat> oof. Here we are with the battle versus Squid. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start the search. We've been locked in. I am, of course, as you do, you. I realize that there's something I would like to change on the team, <laughs> but we're locked in. You know what are you gonna do? So let's see what he brought. I'm very curious to see what he's gonna bring. Oh, uh, we do see Goth. Okay, Gothitelle, Baxcalibur, of course. No Scyther, so no Defog. Uh, he's got Toxtricity, uh, Sylveon, King Gambit, and Pyroar. Okay, so he did not bring. Um, let me see here. Let me pull up my documentation here. No Quag, pretty neat. No Appleton, pretty neat. And no Scyther. Okay. Okay, so uh, we are just going to lead bundle. We have enough speed, so even Scarf got to tell can't trap us. You know, it's pretty nice. And we have enough speed so that, that he can't outspeed us. Um, even if he's Scarf, we can flip turn out and not get worried about that. Also, shout out to the nickname Burgle. I was laughing like a child. That's so. It's not funny, but it's so funny to me, you know? Um, Breloom kind of goes in, man. We got to see what Terra type to Baxcalibur is going to be. But looking at this team, dude, fucking kind of goes in, you know? Um, if we can get chip damage on King Gamut, uh, we can probably go for a late game, late game guy. If we can't get some damage on King Gamut, we might have to go late game, uh, late game burn a debt, and then uh, not sweep and pick it off with Mach Punch, you know. But told him in the chat, good luck, have fun to Squid. I haven't played Squid in a minute. It should be fun. I'm excited. I say that as I'm in s just so nervous. <laughs> okay, so he leads with this. Um, I'm just gonna flip out, and we're gonna go right to Earthworm. Earthworm is here for this and potentially Baxcalibur. Uh, getting chip on it, even if it is just a just a tiny little chonker, that's nice for me. And we can go right on out into the Earthworm. Right on out to Earthworm. He's gonna okay. He's gonna get rocks. I forgot this is a rocker. You know what I mean? I forget that's a thing that exists. Um, I'm tempted to double into something that deals with the goth, but I don't also want to risk him just staying in and clicking an attack. You don't stay in and click an attack here, right? You for sure go goth. You for sure go goth. <laughs> but I would have to pop my... Yeah, I don't want to do it just yet. I'm going to get up for Spike. He does withdraw. So we saw King Gamma hit rocks. Oh, we're going to get up for Spike. Spike's very helpful. Um, we're going to try to switch out on the off chance that he is... Uh... Okay, cool. Can't be switched out. Noted. Noted, and see, if he is the trick set, this could be pretty annoying. Um, I have Steel Beam so I can kill myself, basically, so he doesn't get to plus six, but I always have I always have Surreal Edge, so I'm not super worried about it, actually. I'm just going to go full spikes. Oh, he's got Taunt. Nice. Okay. Noted. Noted. Okay, so we'll go for the Iron Head then. Uh, good prep. He's calm minding. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, Golf has CM Tond. Um, do we see Lefty? We do see Lefty. Okay, so at least he's not, um... What's it called? At least he's not, uh... Resist Barry. But he's just gonna calm mind in our face. Calm Mind, Taunt, he probably isn't, he can't really be Rest, he would have to be like Psychic, Psychic Gleam, or something like that. So he will eventually get to take us out. We do shake off the Taunt. 
Um, he should taunt us again, so I'm gonna go for the Iron Head. Oh, he's psychic. Wow. Okay, nice. Let's go for that Iron Head again. Um, since we've shown to be spamming Iron Head, let's see if we can spike again here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, he got me. <laughs> what are you gonna do, you know? <laughs> you gotta try, dude. I should have tried out the gate, but what are you gonna do? Um, this going down is gonna make it tough for Baxcalibur slash King Gambit. Uh, we just continued Iron Head. One spike up is nice. One spike up is nice. I wish this thing got like Roar or Dragon Tail or something, you know? It's all it's made of tail. Like you'd think it would be able to fucking sling it around a little bit. Um let's iron hit again. He does kill us, so fourth room is gonna go down to Goth. Not the worst. We did get a spike up, so that's pretty neat. He's shown Taunt, Calm Mind, Psychic. It's gotta be like Dazzling Gleam or something. It's gotta be like Dazzling Gleam. Um, and yeah, this is gonna be early to pop this. I don't exactly like having to go for it this early, but uh, we do gotta click it, you know? Does Better Blade kill? Goth, we'll just say he's like max max. Because the Orthworm, Iron Head, was yeah, doing barely anything. So that's probably bold max max. Um, so Real Edge, Bitter Blade does not kill. However, the Terror Blast does kill. And he does have. Um, he does have a switch in if he wants, but uh, we'll see. He does withdraw. Do we see Pyro? We do see Pyro. No berries allowed. Okay, good play. He's also Boots. We didn't see him take a spike, so we know he is Boots. We know he is, in fact, Boots. Doesn't affect him. Makes sense. Um... A Dark Pulse comes off here, I think. So we can go Burgle. We can go Burgle. Burgle and DP. And we can probably get up our rocks if we want. It goes for Yawn. Jesus Christ. Um, I don't really want to stay in, so we'll go out into Glamora. Go out into Glamora. Okay, so Pyroar has Yawn. Yawn, probably Dual Stab plus Dark Pulse is probably what that thing has. So, we'll definitely need to, uh... I need to put on some pressure with Bundle. I need to get in here with Bundle and start clicking some pumps. Uh, he does always have a Sylveon. He does also withdraw. Alright. What do we see? Goss comes back out. Ooh. So Glamora's gonna come out. We should kill this, though, I think. Um... Let's see here. Glamora versus a Max Max. Sledge Wave does 42 to 50. 42 to 50. Um, we might kill. We might kill. Let's see. We are uh, Payapa, so we shouldn't kill us. But uh, we'll see what Sledge Wave wants to do. Come on, big damage. Damn it. <laughs> Big damn it, you know? We're a pie alpha, no big deal. 
that still does a bit of a... Oh, he got a crit. That kind of sucks, because that probably means we're in Sucker Punch range. Uh, that's probably a little bit tough, but what are you going to do? That's Pokemans for you, you know? Um, we just Earth Power here. Just Earth Power. God, I hope Earth Power kills. <laughs> uh, Earth Power does 27, then. Yeah, that should be fine. He does withdraw into... Show me King Gambit. Show me a King Gambit, dude. Let's fucking go. This is the chip we need. Oh, he's Shuka. Okay. Nice. Big damage. Oh, we get a crit. Okay. That's pretty fair, I think. That's pretty fair. I am just going to Earth Power. If he wants to Sucker Punch me, uh, we can get the T-Spikes up. Uh, he does have a Grounded Poison, but, uh, you know. I could also have Rock Polish there. I do have Rock Polish on the set for such a thing, but... Uh, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Um, this being gone is going to be pretty neat for... That's one more thing that Bundle doesn't... Uh, Bundle doesn't mind. Okay. Glad I clicked it. King Gambit goes on to Glamora. Nice. I'm gonna close. Uh, I'm getting pinged, and it's. I'm trying to focus, God! Now, Pyroar does come back out. We're pretty nervous, dude. We are pretty nervous. I can go back out into Burgle. Yeah, I can save this. This is good for Sylveon still. And we'll see what move he wants to click here. DP, yep. I gotta stop saying it like that. <laughs> Uh, Earthquake... Earthquake is actually pretty free, free but uh, are rocks more important? Are rocks more important? Rocks are great chip for everything, and I might need chip on stuff for the, um... Yeah, I might need chip on stuff for... For late game Breloom slash Surreal Edge. Rosa comes out. Take a spike. Pretty neat. Okay, we do see lefties on Sylveon. We do see lefties on the old Sylveon. I can go right back into Glimmy more. I could also... I could also go Bernadette and just click Bitter Blade. I don't really want to take unnecessary damage on Bernadette if I don't have to. But also, Glimmy Moore probably doesn't... Well, let's find out. Let's find out together, shall we? Because if that thing does die, then we can... Uh... Well, it's tough to take out a Pyroar with Yawn, actually. It's kind of annoying. There's Glimmy. Baton Pass. All right. So we see that Sylveon has lefties and BP, which means it's probably not called mine, so that's nice. Uh, we know it's going to have, like, Hyper Voice. Pretty nifty. Pyroar does come out. Um, I think I'm going to stay in this time. Stay in and Earth Power, perhaps? I could go right back into my Krokorok. Let's Earth Power. Maybe he'll yawn. Wait, fine. Does this kill? It does kill. Yikes. Glamora goes down to Pyroar. Does Breloom kill? Breloom versus Pyroar. probably have a little bit of HP. Mach Punch doesn't kill. That's tough. That's a little tough. Um, we can go bundle, I guess. 
Wingo bundle. Bundle and probably just flip turn. Bundle and flip turn. Also, shout outs to fucking bundle going right into the ground. We'll bundle and flip turn. If he stays in, that should put it in range of uh, of the mock punch. If he switches out, then we get the initiative. And um, oh wait, he's a flamethrower. Yeah, we gotta. Man, I'm really curious to see what Backscalibur is gonna be. I think could be, could be terrifying. You know, it is withdraw. What do we see? Will it be Sylveon? I think that's a Sylveon. We come in and take a rock. And take a spike. Not in that order, but you know. Nice Sylveon's at about half. Um, so we can go back into... Now we go Bernadette. We go Bernadette and we'll click us a nice bitter blade. Click us a nice bitter blade, dude. The damage on the Pyroar is going to be nice. It's going to be nice. It's literally any chip. It should be in range of fucking... Of, uh... Braylon. Nice. So that'll come in at under half. Pretty cool. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Bit of blade coming out. Good amount of chip. Good amount of chip, dude. Um... You either yawn, or you dark pulse here. I kind of want to go into Braylon. I kind of want to go Braylon, dude. Because he, he could... Well, if yawn comes out, none of that is good. So maybe I just bitter blade. Maybe I just bitter blade again. He does yawn. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, pal. Now we can go out into our Kirkorok. Now I'm comfortable going Kirkorok. Good old Crookie. A potential scarf. A potential scarf toxicity could be pretty terrifying here. Um, Kirkorok taking damage is not good, you know? Does he double yawn? Use for protect, nice. I'll take that shit, dude. I'll take that shit. Um I guess I could just EQ. Nothing really wants to take an EQ. I could also double. Sylveon probably comes in. He does withdraw. Which is the Goth, which is going to die to the spikes and the... Oh no, it dies to the rocks, technically. So, Goth dies to Crook, or Croc, Rocks, Croc Rocks. The old Croc Rocks. The old Croc Rocks, dude. <laughs> um... Sylveon does come out here. Nice. It's gonna take a lot of chip. That's gonna take a good amount of chip, dude. We'll go... I gotta go hard Bernadette. I can't let this thing die yet with a Toxtricity to being around. I simply cannot. We could potentially see another... Um... Oh, this for Kiss. That's fine. Oh, that did some damage, though, huh? Oh, I'm not a fire type. Of course. Of course it did damage. Um, I just better blade again. That's fine. Hopefully this just dies. It does just die. Love to see it. Uh, Sylveon goes down to Surreal Edge. You're gonna, dude. You think you're gonna drain me, dog? <laughs> Uh, 
Pyroar does come back out. Pyroar does come out. I would imagine it would be... I think it would have to be Dark Pulse here. Potentially Yawn as well. We're gonna go Breloom. This could be a fucking bad play, but... <laughs> You know, Chris coming out, Chris got that mock punch, please don't hurt me, he does yawn, okay, that's not the worst, that is not the worst, because now we can go out into, well fire moves pretty obvious, so we'll go back into Bernadette, we'll go back into Bernadette because with the flash fire boost we should... With the flash fire boost, we should be able to kill him with the, um, what's it called? Dude, he's just spamming fucking yarn, that's so annoying. Um, I guess we'll go burgle this time, you know? That is pretty annoying. At least, at least we're boots on our boy. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Um, Sylveon's dead. Toxtricity is dead. Um, I wonder if he would go for Protect here. It would be pretty annoying for him to Protect. I'll go back into Bernadette. I gotta, at, at least I gotta switch around enough to make him think I'm just gonna switch forever, you know? Yeah, this, uh, this fucking sucks, huh? This fucking sucks, huh? Uh, I, fuck it, dude, back to Burgle. Back to Burgle, and then this time we stay in, and click Earthquake. Okay, he Dark Pulses that time. That's nice. Got him. Now, god damn it, now, <laughs> uh, now I click EQ. He does yawn. We go for that EQ, which takes out Pyroar. Um, now, whether he goes into Baxcalibur or Toxtricity, I am going to click Dragon Tail. I'll let the thing go to sleep, whatever, fuck it. Um, I can't let that thing... I can't let either of these guys set up for free. There's backs. It's boots. Um, so I'm assuming we're going to see a dragon dance here. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeet. Fuck out of here. Um, and now we'll see what toxicity is. Gonna take rocks and spikes, pretty nice. Now I don't think I don't think this will be set up as well. He had no scarfer, so I think that is going to be a scarfer. Now I don't go bundle. Does bundle will bundle if this is scarf, this doesn't beat fucking Vax Caliber anyways. So I think I would need to sack Bundle here. I think I need to sack Bundle here. And then... Uh, sack Bundle. Go to Surreal and try to click SD. He does Volt. Cool. That's fine with me. Yeah, take some more spikes. He's definitely Scarfed then. Uh, Bundle's gonna go down to Tox. So we know Let's see here. Does Vex Caliber. We know he's just he's just fucking boots, you know? Uh versus our boy Surreal Edge. 
who is a ghost type. Glaive Rush shouldn't be able to kill us. Terror Blast into Shadow Sneak might kill him. So we'll go Bernadette. We'll go Bernadette. And I don't want to give him Thermal Exchange. So we'll just go for the Terror Blast, which is our strongest move anyways. <laughs> I always imagine Baxcalibur being fucking huge, you know? It's funny, he just seems to be a similar size as just our little guy, our little man here, you know? Our little, our little man guy. We know he's boots. Non-boosting item's pretty nice. If he Terra's into something crazy, ugh. I don't know, man. It's all gonna... Oh, buddy, it's all gonna come down to this. He's gonna Terra. I'm scared to see what it's gonna be. It's called Terra because it's terrifying. Here, you know? Okay, so he's gonna be... Okay. Oh, Kurt. He D dances. Okay. Oh, he's going for it, dude. My man's is going for it, huh? And our Shadow Sneak. Uh, he's at like he's at right under twenty five. He's at right under twenty five. Shadow Sneak is twenty five men. Yeah, I'm clicking that shit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nice. Fucking, let's go. That's a threat gone, dude. It's a real edge. Takes that out. Um, Toxtricity is going to come out, take rocks and spikes. And uh, I think it's Scarf. So hopefully it can't kill us with anything. And I will just click, uh, I'll just click Bitter Blade. I'll just click Bitter Blade for the, uh, you know, just for one more sound effect, you know? <laughs> X. Ooh. That does some damage. That's a cr stop critting me, man. Jesus. You know? Alright, cool. That's a dub for us. We've been getting absolutely butt fucked by hacks lately. And if that man, if that crit would have happened on a different turn, it could have been a different game. Uh surreal edge sweeps, no fucking setup necessary. Uh, uh what is that? 3-0? That's a 3-0. Nice. Cool. Uh that got Pretty fucking annoying with the yawning. Uh, I'm, it's, I'm microdosing Q's BBR game, you know? Um, Surreal Edge picks up three. Glamora picks up one. Crook? Crook? Baby Crook picks up two, dude. Baby Crook picked up two little baby kills, you know? Little vicious little monster. Um, Breloom actually didn't do Jack Diddley Dick. Breloom switched in a couple times <laughs> and switched back out. But at least in the end game there... Uh, at least in the end game, if he were to kill, if you were to kill Surreal Edge there, he would have been locked into Hex. We would have lived, and we could have uh, bulldozed and killed him there. So I guess the an unfortunate crit wouldn't have really mattered there too much. Uh, would've, he would have needed two unfortunate crits, you know. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be the game. GG to Squid. That was um, my heart's beating. My face is kind of red, dude. I'm fucking God. It's um. It's like it's summertime in my room right now. Um, yeah, I'm going to stop, you know, rambling and stuff, but uh, stay tuned for the bonus track if you're into that. Uh, we hit two and two, which is nice because our two losses should have been wins. So what are you going to do? Like, subscribe, do all that bullshit, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, bonus track. So I was out here, you know, I'm out here doing my prison work. I'm out here walking in a circle. You know how, it, <laughs> you know the vibes. And... I don't know, I just started feeling silly, so I was like, fuck it, let's do, let's try a bonus track out here for once, you know? So, I was out here walking, and I was doing some thinking, you know? And I remember, I, I had a thing that has been on my mind lately, that I tried to make a joke about to my buddies one time, and only one person of the group really agreed with me. Now, this friend was married, 
and all the rest of the people there were single. So maybe that has something to do with it. Let me know. Let, let, let me know down below whether or not this is this is relatable to you, and if this is uh, like, and if you're you know if you're married, if you're in a relationship, if you got a fuck buddy, whatever's going on, right? One thing I've noticed. When you're, when you're sleeping with a woman, like literally when you are sharing a bed with a, with a, with a nice lady, you know, um, they ha there seems to be a bit of an obsession with looking at a man's asshole. Is that weird? You know what I'm talking about? There seems to be a bit of a, a bit of a, a bit of a whimsy to it almost. Like they get real, they get real curious. You know, these ladies get real curious. They're like cats. And curiosity is going to kill a couple of these bitches. Because, like, what do they think is in there? There's not a, like, you know what it's going to, like, there was, what's the surprise? What do you think I'm doing in there? You think I'm smuggling stuff? You think, oh, it's, it's Easter the day I'm recording this. You think I'm fucking, you think I'm stashing eggs? You're going to come around with a little basket and dig in my asshole? Huh? The last basket? <laughs> Is this a thing? I don't know if this is a thing. And it's also... <laughs> this is so loud in my garage. <laughs> but for real. Sorry, I'm a little... Uh, sorry, a little sweaty. But that's a thing. I, I've... When it happened the first time, I was like, oh, this lady's just silly. You know? But then the second, third, fourth time, I was like, are these... Do we, is this a thing? Is this a consistent thing? Or am I just dating fucking... Or talking to, you know, real real curious ladies, you know, <laughs> like, am I the man in the yellow hat, <laughs> you know, am I just always attracting some real curious fucking Georgies, you know, <laughs> uh, he did wear a cowboy hat, I guess that is, you know, it's a little close, but I think that's a thing, I don't know, it seems like, it's like a real cute thing to do, you know, because I don't know about y'all, but when, when the deed is done, when you, you know, when you put your boxers back on, when you, you know, put the, put the covers back over you, I feel like there's always a little bit of a, there's always a bit of a dance to it, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to go showing off, you know, I don't want the, you know, you don't want to, <laughs> you don't want to take the treasure to the, to the eye line, you know, you don't want to fucking, <laughs> you don't want to be able to be traced on that map, you know, they, they know where the, where the dotted line leans and where the X is, but you don't want to show them, you know, you got to leave a little to the imagination, you know, but, I genuinely don't know what, like, and it, okay, let's say they do find it. They, they get in there. They, you know, they get their eyes on the prize. Then what? Is that the end goal? Do they just want to look? Or do they want to touch? Do we go strip club rules on this? Guys, what are we doing about this? This is a fucking epidemic. They're trying to look at our b-holes. Do they think they're going to be able to, like, they're going to see light from, like, lights shining in through my mouth, and they'll be, like, a little bit, like, light at the end of the tunnel, you know? I don't know. I gotta, I gotta start asking questions because these ladies are. Uh, it's getting real. It's getting real. Uh, <laughs> it's getting real. National Geographic's real quick, you know. And I don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh man. Uh, so yeah, let me like. Is this is this dumb? Is this the stupidest thing I've ever said? Is this should this have never been on the internet? I don't know. Leave your comments down below. <laughs> All right. Later.